The right ventricle is going to pump blood to the lungs through the pulmonary trunk. It is going to be thinner in size than the left ventricle and it's actually crescent shaped but I put croissant because it sounded funnier. But uh, yeah, it ejects the oxygenated blood and the left ventricle is going to pump blood to the rest of the body through the aorta and it's going to be thicker in size than the right ventricle and that's because more muscle is going to be needed to pump blood to the rest of the body. That's a big job. And the left ventricle is going to be circular in shape. And it's going to eject, of course, oxygenated blood because we can send deoxygenated blood throughout the body. Ventricular features. Lots of muscle. So remember I said that the ventricle is going to be pumping blood out of the heart. Uh, the right ventricle is going to pump blood out of the heart to the lungs and then you have the left ventricle which is going to pump blood out of the heart to the rest of the body so they have lots of muscle so you have your trabeculae carnae which is going to line the inner walls of the ventricles and then you have your papillary muscle and the papillary muscle does something that i like to call project and prevent they are projections of myocardium and remember myo means muscle and then they prevent the backward opening of valves when the heart is beating. And the papillary muscle is going to stick out from ventricular walls and attach to a muscle called chordae tendinae. And chordae tendinae is going to automatically become activated when the ventricles are full of blood.